Hey guys, Dr. Ray Marquez here, your local chiropractor at Back Pain Relief Center. We're in Vineland today. We're here with Dr. Avakian. She's actually here this morning because um, her neck, upper back, and actually her um, having some pain near her clavicle. So we're gonna do some manipulations, do uh, an extremity adjustment, and see if we can't get her to feel a little better. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is use a, a handheld adjusting instrument. And what that's gonna do is allow me to loosen the joints up just a little bit. To make her manipulation go easier, if there's any scar tissue build up around the joint, it'll help break some of that up. Remember that the whole goal of manipulating or adjusting the spine is to decompress the joint so they go back to full range of motion and they line up correctly and they, they don't dysfunction. Because when they dysfunction, they can irritate the joint, the muscles, and more importantly, the nerves, and cause all kinds of problems. Um, she came here with upper back neck and that uh, clavicle problem, but we're also going to adjust her full spine and make sure everything works correctly. Uh, this has been bothering me too. Okay. Like so she's saying her uh, left SI joint or left hip's been bothering her. We're just going to check her leg checks. When I look at her legs, this leg's shorter. And when, they, when I bend it, it crosses over, it's indicating that we're going to have a pelvic problem or lower lumbar problem. Keep that leg straight, raise it as high as you can, and bring it down. Let's try the other side. Is that side harder? Yeah. See that leg kind of goes out to the side, it's harder. That means her pelvis is rotated and uh, will be imbalanced and can cause some discomfort. So we're just gonna cross her legs. We're gonna use the uh, drop table to help me realign it. Next, I'm gonna come over. We're gonna do a little bit of muscle work here on our glutes. That's super tender. So we'll just put some pressure on it or a trigger point. She's telling me that it's tender. It makes sense because it's all rotated. Okay, why don't you come over this side? Or so she's probably feeling a little pain while I'm doing this, but we're gonna loosen this muscle up. Okay. Just lay on your side face me. I'm gonna cross those legs one more time. That kind of just allows me to adjust it the way I want to. I'm gonna realign the lower lumbars again with the instrument. Now when I'm checking those legs are even, when I cross over, they're still even. Keep that leg straight, raise it as high as you can for me. And down, try the other one. Better, right? Uh -huh. Then we're gonna palpate up the spine and we're gonna just try to find some areas of tenderness or misalignments and she can feel it right there. So we're gonna manually manipulate. This is probably about T12 L1 or so. Okay, so bend your legs for me. Deep breath. And out. Good. Let it down. Nice and easy. Now we're gonna work our way up to the top. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of trigger points. So a lot of patients have that neck and upper back problems have quite a few trigger points or myospasms in their uh, upper trapezius, uh, rhomboids, um, their delts in this whole area. So a little bit of pressure on there. Stacey's so going to look to the left for me five times. One. Oh, got your hair. Two, three, four, five. So if you're one of my patients out there, you know this probably just a little tender. Five more times. One. But we're going to try to break up those muscle adhesions. And allow for some better range of motion. Okay, we'll go to the other side. Three, this one's tight enough. Four, one more. Five, okay, again. One, two, three, four, five. So a lot of you guys out there that um, work at a desk job on the computer a lot, this whole area is, is always a source of tension for people. This muscle work and these manipulations um, work great. Next, we're going to use a drop piece, and I'm going to just realign these uh, lower cervicals to help take some pressure off. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. a little tight, a little tight. Next, we're going to do an upper thoracic manipulation. Deep breath, and out.
Okay, next is a cervical adjustment to try to break up some adhesion, decompress the joint. Good. Good. Okay, let's go on your back. So, um, Stacy has been here before for this clavicle problem. She was, I don't know, standing on her head or something doing yoga. <laughs> but this clavicle has actually, let's feel it again. Tender there, isn't it? Yeah. We see this a lot. Actually, it's coming. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can when I stand. Yeah. I see this a lot. A lot of times this whole uh, upper shoulder girdle or lower neck gets dysfunctional and from the shoulders being in forward, that clavicle kind of just rotates in. So we're going to use an adjusting instrument and we're just going to kind of tap it back, break up some adhesions and um, try to realign it. A little tender, so if you see your squint, that's why. A little tender. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're gonna see if anything's left in her neck to adjust um, that we didn't get when she was on her stomach. Right there, maybe just a little. Good. Good. Um, we're gonna do a long axis traction move. Good. All right. Yeah. Come on up. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it. If you have any neck or back problems, make sure you uh, stop in to see us. We'll be here all day today. Um, from now until 6 o'clock, just come on in.